How's it gaming? I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Learn to Kaizo. We are in, I think, World 5, I guess you could call it. Uh, we did test... What was it? Test 4? Yeah, test 4. And we our last uh, level that we did was a double shell jump, which was difficult. And <laughs> now we got janked up Sumo Brothers, and yeah, there he is. Uh, Sumo Bros have really weird movement going off ledges. Try to spin jump on him once he is falling down. Okay. Oh, he does have, like, a weird kind of... You'd think he would fall straight down, but no. All right, let's try this out. Oh, wow, all right. First real try, I'm happy with that. Good start to the episode. <clears throat> I'm always happy about that. We're nearing, not nearing the end, but we're getting there. We're making, making real progress, you know? Underwater fishing boo. Underwater fishing boo, what's the matter with you? Ah! <laughs> wow, you really just got me. Uh. Does he go up or down? No, not really. Ooh, okay, I see. Ooh, I can see why this would be difficult. Oh, still made it though. I'm surprised it's not a little bit longer. That's a uh, kind of weak sauce for how short that was. I feel like I really didn't learn too, too much, but I mean, using that like holding down while uh, swimming is, is controlled swimming, so that helped, obviously. Mid-Earth Wimp, why isn't there? Was there never map music? Oh, Mid-Earth Mid -earth Wimp. Oh, well, there it went. Is there another one? Is that it? If I leave and come back? Okay, he does come back. All right. Almost. Okay, now it looks like I have to get real, really good timing. Run and jump. Almost. Maybe I'll jump earlier? No. <laughs> there we go. Just kind of press left for like a couple frames and then kind of kept going. Very similar to the thwomp. The thwomp you trigger yourself, thwimps just kind of move on their own accord. Doing good. Should be able to easily get to test five. Hopefully defeat test five. Slippery moles. Yes. Oh, the big moles, the mono moles. Watch out, these moles heads are very slippery. Are they really? Oh, okay. I didn't, it, maybe it's just cause it, uh, maybe it emulates whatever, uh, the ground is on the level. Oh, jeez, did not expect that. Are they really just one tile wide according to the game? Okay, whatever. Jeez, oof, they are slippery, yes. Oh, damn. You don't see a whole lot of Mondo Moles in, in Kai at least the Kaizos I've seen. Pretty sure every single thing has been used in Kaizo before. At one point. Okay, and then jump. Okay. Oh, he didn't fall down. Oh, jeez, almost. Thankfully, they are not long levels, so it does not take long to beat one, even if I mess up. Yeah, how does he fall? It's weird how he falls through. The other one doesn't. It's because he's fast enough to overcome the, like, one... Damn. The one, uh, tile gap, and the other one just falls, like, directly into it or something like that. I don't know, it's weird to me. Okay. And then... Ah, damn. You can't spin jump on these guys. They act actually like terrain, as you can see. <clears throat> so they're very weird. I don't like the slipperiness at all. Oh, geez, Phil. <sighs> I've have noticed. I mentioned this uh, in test four that not damn it, not all of the uh, things that we're learning are in each test. So hopefully this is not one because I really hate this. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> No more Mondo Moles. You see those so rarely in Super Mario World. I can only think of two levels at the top of my head that I think they're, that I know they're in. It's like World of ba Bowser, Valley of Bowser 1, and then like one of the weird Chocolate Island levels. The go around. Ooh, Ghost House. Oh, a little blobby guy. You were able to climb on a vine while holding an item. Yes, just throw the item up and grab it while you were in the vine. I knew, I did know that. Well, <laughs> uh, do specific timing. There we go. Oh, geez, Phil. Come on. Okay. That's what I want. Oh, what am I... Oh, okay, yeah. That's not what I'm doing. Okay, jump off the blobby. Oh, jump, and then go clear the gap, and then jump on the other blobby. Yes. And then follow the blobby down here. Damn it! Hit the vine. And then climb up it with the blue throwing block. Okay. 
See, I actually did know this. Something you can do in regular Mario World. Easy enough. It was really more of a tutorial of how to do, like, that you can do that, but that's not really a hard challenge in and of itself, so I'm glad they added something else. You know, that, like, go around thing, like it said. Two more, and then test five. Falling spike. Okay. Oh, yes, the spike from the ceiling. Same as for the midair swamp, try to trigger the spike uh, and jump off of midair, okay? What does it fall? Oh, it wiggles first. <coughs> Which I do know, I just... Didn't be, okay, timing. Once they wiggle, it's like one, two, three, four. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, one. One goal star, very nice. One more test five, we'll have plenty of time to do it, so we'll... I'd be very surprised if test five takes me more than five, ten minutes. Unless that's a double shell jump. That sucks. Janky falling platforms. Fun. Oh. Uh, these platforms fall really fast, so you need to react quickly. Okay. Woo! Oh, they do fall fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that is uh, fast. Yes. Oh, jeez. Ah! Yeah, it gets a little a little bit harder each one. You gotta get that you gotta keep your running speed or else you won't jump high enough. Wow. Okay. Ah, poopies. <laughs> okay. Easy. Ease. Damn it. Run to the wall, lose my speed, and then I bonk on the ceiling. Not ideal. Ah! Jeez, that last one. Nope. No, not even close. Ah, frick. Need a little bit more runtime, kind of. Yeah, because it's like really close to the thing. Ah, and I have like a frame to le leap on that last one. Yeah, there we go. All right, test five. Bring it on. We're seven and a half minutes in, just about. <coughs> We've got this. Test number five. Yeah, there is music in the in the world map. It was weird. It wasn't present that one time. Test five. Oh, gee. Oh, okay. The. Yep. Easy enough. You're not slippery this time. Oh. Okay. Nothing there. <laughs> okay. A little too soon. One, two, three. Oh no! It's a little bit random. No. Once it starts, though, it goes into regular intervals. So. That's a good list. There we go. Okay, easy enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did not expect that, but there is a mid-air, uh, mid, uh, midpoint thing there. So I'll do a, uh, damn fell, <clears throat> a spin jump when I have to, when I finish that up. Bum, 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 bum. I like the setup for this one, it looks really cool. Okay. Ah, poopies! That was such a ridiculous thing to do. Nope. Okay, I've got kind of got the timing for the footballs. That's good. Yeah, well, the monomoles are so much easier when they don't have uh, icy physics. Oh, damn. You can back off a little bit. Okay. This is a sweet, sweet midpoint. It basically might as well... Oh, whoops. <laughs> a midpoint bite basically oh, whoops, means that I've like done that part and like uh, whoops, uh, it, it's almost like it's its own level and I've finished it. You know what I mean? So unless I leave the level, so I have to do it again. This is pretty easy so far. Ah, I ran right into the damn side of the muncher. Come on, hey, okay, remember to back off the thwimp. That was oh, I can't even pull that off, actually. Okay, back off a little bit. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh, I, like, doubted myself. So I didn't have, like, enough forward momentum. Nearing ten minutes. Damn, Phil. Ah. Come on, Phil. Okay. <laughs> I'm being impatient. It's always my death. There we go. <laughs> Didn't 
Yeah, I was gonna make that, actually. <sighs> I gotta wait it out a little bit longer, apparently, because that's not good enough. Ooh, no, that's bad. There we go. I hate that they put the swim jump at the, uh, at the end of this little section. It makes it harder for me. I can't, like, repractice it a lot. Oh, that was weird. Maybe I shouldn't be... Should I not be getting P-Speed for that? I have to. I wouldn't reach it, would I? Come on, Phil, really. Ah, damn you. Get the football. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Being just dumb now. Weird. It's uh, the um, football trucks have a global timer, not a uh, like a level timer like a lot of other things do. Just surprising. It means that its actions are more based on um, it like its own internal timer instead of like starting over when I die. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, really? Oh, I must have already fall I've fallen at that point. Damn it, Phil. Oh, boy. Now I'm just going to be happy if I just do this test in this episode. It's, uh, I'm only do and I'm still in the first part of it. That's where. Ah, I don't have time to, to bounce on it a second time, so. It's, it, it, it's, the jump itself isn't the hardest thing in the world, it's the fact that there's a ceiling of munchers, too, so I'm wondering if I'm just approaching this the wrong way. Ah, come on, man. Oh, I knew there was going to be a part of the game where I'd get kind of stuck for a little while. So I'm pretty impressed that it hasn't... Oh, like, damn, that was so close. You know, if you're watching someone do a Kaizo, you're bound to enter a part where... Ah, it's so close. Where you're gonna watch him do the same thing over and over again for a little while. It's just gonna happen. So while I do apologize at the same time, it's like, well, it's what you get for watching a Kaizo. Even if it is a beginner Kaizo. Ah, damn. So darn close. I feel like I'm getting the the feel of it a little bit better. Damn, Phil. Ah, 
Ah, ooh, ran right off of it. <sighs> now I'm like, I feel like I'm missing, I'm losing uh, any any skill I once had. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm running out of time. I'm still in the first part of this. My first real barrier. First little wall. Ah, I wait a little bit, a little bit on that. I, I do think I have the right idea. I just need to go in there a little bit later when it's close to the bottom of the of the screen. Ah, yes, okay, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Pfft. Approaching nearly 17 minutes on this. Ah, poop, <laughs> that's so bad. Really? Okay, wow. Yeah, all my skill is being drained away by all these multiple tries that I feel like I'm not getting anything right all of a sudden. Ah, oh, Frank, come on, man. Really? Okay, there we go. Jeez. Getting a little worried there. I was like, what is happening to me? Okay, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm just waiting too long. Or, no, I'm, I'm not waiting long enough. Yes! Okay, there we go. Oh, I feel better now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can mess this up all I want. Ah, uh, then those things. That's probably the end, I would assume. Nope. It's okay, we got two minutes. Plus, at this point, I'm just gonna beat this level. In this episode, it's just gonna be what I do. Ooh, I feel really, really higher than that. Okay, come on. Okay. Get the timing down. No, way too bad. That was garbage. One, two, three, four. Almost. That was real close, though. One, two, three, four. No, wow. Is the timing a little bit different? Am I just counting wrong? Fuck. Okay. Ah, oh. Nope. That was bad. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I got to back off a little bit there. I can't just run right into it. Okay. Whew. Okay. That's rough. We're doing this. We're beating test five. We're done. I won't allow myself not to do it. Oh, okay. I didn't think I was going to make. Oh, and then more Monty Bowls. Cool. Or Mega Bowls. Great. <sighs> These timing for the, the downward jumps are very difficult for me. It's definitely going to be like a, a feel sort of thing. There we go. Ah, so close. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. It ends with a double shell jump. Forgot about the double shell jump. Oh, my gosh, Phil. Last episode ended with a double shell jump. This episode's going to be ending with one. Brutal. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Just awful.
Oof. Yeah, this this one's a tough test. I hope for my sake that this is uh, near the end of the game, because I don't know if I can get much more difficult than this in my current level. I really gotta get this stuff right. Nope. Gotta get closer. Oh, now it's done! I can't, if without both shells, and you, you can lose the shell there, make it even worse. I mean, it knows, like, you have to do this in this try. You don't get to practice it, you don't get to try it out, test it out, you gotta do it. Okay, better at that now, thankfully. Ugh. Ugh, that was rough. It's definitely my first real wall to success. <sighs> Damn it. I'm gonna practice a little bit. Okay. Mm. I hate shell jumps. They're absolutely the worst thing. Point now where I'm just making little weird grunting sounds every time I uh, fail. No commentary, just annoyed grunts. Dough. Okay. How far should I be for that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, shell jumps are rough, man. Never mind double shell jumps. I'm bad at this shell jumps. Really, really bad. I wonder if there's a whole Kaizo based on shell jumps, because I, I can't seem to get them right. That was awful. Oof, boy. Poor Mario. I wish you would keep track of your deaths. It'd be kind of a fun thing at the end. Ew, suddenly not getting this either. Too. I felt that. <sighs> it's like near the peak of your jump. Oh my god, I can't even get one anymore. I got that a little bit down now. That's good. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, if I could just grab and try it again. At least I got one. That is always a step, obviously. Okay. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, okay! Hey, that's a step forward. We're nearing 24 minutes here. We're fine. Not stopping until I beat this one. Okay, that's fine. always do that. It's just like the last episode where I get surprised that I've made it and I don't throw the shell when I should be doing it. Ah! Yes! Oh my god! Oh! Alright, just short of 25 minutes. I'm happy with that. Sorry about the repetition of this episode. I mean, that's going to be the case. It's Kaiso. I don't know why I've kept explaining that. I don't have to. I just... Get to that point where I feel like I need to apologize. Oh, I guess we're still going. With that, I'm Phil the Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.